Attorney General of New York, Letitia James, says Trump check ain't good enough here. Put up the picture full mask. Fascinating story. April 22nd, a court hearing is scheduled to determine if Donald Trump has satisfied the conditions to meet the bond reduced from the 464 million he was required to post to the state of New York to appeal the civil fraud judgment handed down against him earlier this year. In an objection to the deal filed earlier this month by New York Attorney General Letitia James, major concerns were raised about whether Trump had met the conditions of the 175 million reduced bond that Trump got in late March after the former president successfully appealed the requirement that he post a bond of the full amount of the judgment plus interest. James was positioned to begin seizing Trump's assets if he could not pay the entire amount in cash. There's more to this story. Now, let me highlight a couple of nuances. Number one, Letitia James is doing what her office would typically do for anyone else who they believe has gained the system and not actually adhered to the standard for the appeal bond. Number two, he does not have to put up money in order to appeal the case. Let me say that again. He does not have to put up money to appeal his case. He has a right to appeal, which is constitutionally codified. The money stops his properties from being seized, has nothing to do with his ability or inability to file an appeal. He has a constitutional right to do so, and the courts will protect that right. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Trump's lawyers responded this week to James' April 4th motion, arguing that her office's scrutiny of the bond posted last month was unnecessary and lacked detail. Adding, she should be responsible for the cost of the spiraling legal. The New York AG's exception is taken unnecessarily and should be set aside with cost. Her sparse notice identifies no insufficiency other than the failure to disclose a certificate of qualification. Wait a minute, attorney, that's called sufficient motion. She did say why. Says the motion filed by Trump's lawyers, while a certificate would be dispositive evidence of justification, it is not the only evidence of justification. Previously, Trump posed a question. He wanted to delay in paying the staggering fine while he challenges the unprecedented ruling. Although usually, New York defendants must post a bond payment greater than the penalty to become eligible for an appeal. The February 16th ruling by Judge Arthur um, Ngoran found Trump liable for inflating the value of his New York real estate, including his hotels, golf clubs, while defrauding banks and insurers for, well, forever, um, for decades. In late March, a New York appeals court held off on putting the former president into collection if he could raise 175 million within 10 days. But the filing by James in early April took issue with whether the terms had been met. Initially, issues with the first bond order led to the amended version that would allow Trump to pay 62% less than the original verdict. A small number of billionaire donors stepped up more than a month after the judgment to help Trump raise his new bond, which Trump admits he cannot afford to pay in cash after he bragged for years about being one of the world's wealthiest billionaires. Put him up full mass. Ultimately, Knight Specialty Insurance Company, the owner, Don Hankey. Old Don got involved, posted 175 million because he's actually a billionaire to help Trump prevent the attorney general from seizing Trump's properties to collect 
the massive judgment. In her arguments on April 4th, Attorney General James said Trump's lower bond amount was issued, quote, without a certificate of qualification pursuant to insurance law subsection 1111. And that Trump's legal team needed to file additional documents within 10 days to justify the surety. Now, this seems simple, right? You filed for the appeal bond. It is thus notified. You can actually pay less than a normative amount. You're getting breaks left and right here by creating your own adverse dilemma. We will say getting in the way of yourself. But you still get breaks. And then your breaks get breaks. And then the breaks of the breaks get breaks. And now you have one individual in this entire system of breaks who says no more breaks here. You will adhere to the full extent of the law. Your attorneys are supposed to be the best in the world according to you. They filed this without a certificate of qualification. I wonder why, there's more. However, attorneys for Trump dismissed James concerns over the sufficiency for or of the surety. Trump's lawyers and the lawyers for KSIC filed documents on April 15th. To respond to James, arguing the attorney general's objection to that bond should be dismissed and that her office should pay the cost they incurred in responding to her objections. You see, you see, and that's why your ass going to jail. Stuff like that. Why would the attorney decide to aggravate the moment by saying not only did we not file the certificate, they admitted they did not file the certificate of qualification and then said, but there are other ways to determine qualification here. So they are, in fact, out of bounds with the statutory law. They admit it. Second, instead of simply appealing or updating the documents within the grace period allowed, 10 days, I mean, all of these smart attorneys with paralegals and experts, 10 days, that's a lot of time. And I'm sure it's 10 business days based on the reading of the law. So you really have about 14 days to get this done. You didn't take half a damn month. Yeah, half a month in order to file the proper documentation. But instead, spent your energy, focus, resources, and time responding to the attorney general, trying to get it dismissed, and then telling her, uh, as a matter of fact, you owe us money. Okay, uh, the lawyers acknowledged that a certificate of qualification would eliminate the need to explain the bond. In other words, she's right. However, they argued in their memo that the judge can approve the bond even without the certificate. Can, can we back up? Are you asking the judge to do you a favor? After your client basically threatened this man, created significant issues for him and his family, you're now saying, yeah, you know what? But now here's the thing the judge could just say, hey, we'll let it go. There's more. Uh, they argued in their motion that the judge could, in fact, um, basically approve the bond. They stated that there is overwhelming evidence and documents showing that the $175 million bond is backed by $175 million in cash in a Schwab brokerage account that KSIC can control. Bull, all right? If, if the money is there, why y'all scared of the certification? If the money is backed, why are you afraid to file the damn certification? You're telling on yourself, there's more. Uh, the latest court filing underscored Trump's dire financial situation as campaign disclosures in February revealed about 50 million from Republican donors was used to pay Trump's runaway legal bills as he faced an onslaught of criminal and civil charges. The ruling by the judge, also coincided with a separate judgment issued in a defamation lawsuit brought by author E. Jean Carroll, in which Trump was ordered to pay 83 million. He then defamed her again, remember, and he created this for himself as well. In the suit brought by A.G. James, Trump was ordered to pay 355 million, which almost immediately surged to 454 million with interest, which has increased by more than $85,000 per day that Trump does not pay the full fine. 
James filed a civil action against Trump in 2022 after uncovering evidence of systemic fraud inside of the Trump organization, including schemes that inflated Trump's net worth with bogus financial claims. Last year, Trump and his adult sons testified in the trial and blamed accountants for financial mismanagement. Both Trump Jr. and Eric Trump testified that they had little to do with their father's financial statements, emphasizing that other executives inside the Trump organization were responsible for keeping track of the books. What happened to the we are responsible political party known as Republicans? What happened to the buck stops here? What happened to you are in charge? All of that goes away when you're being held accountable and a Republican. All right, Mr. Mayor, a lot of twists and turns here. Um, I believe there's some there, there, and I think Attorney General Letitia James is aware there's a reason they did not file the proper certificate of qualification. It, it's these lawyers offering themselves a way out from Donald Trump's mess. Like, this is exactly <laughs> what happened. Like, I'm not certifying anything because it's gonna be another legal fraud scam, right. Thing, right? Like, it is, it's so transparent. And also, like, listen, I'm not a lawyer, went to law school, but not a lawyer. You, you, you know better than I do. There are elements in certain in certain statutes that you have to meet to say something happened in defense. This is an element of what has That's to right. be filed to get this 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 the 69 percent deduction. An element. So for this lawyer to say, well, yeah, it would prove it, but the judge could do us a solid. Right. It's saying. Exactly the opposite of what Trump is trying to prove that he's being, you know, the low end of he's getting the low end of a two tier justice system. When in actuality, you already explained it as as best as it can be explained. Break after break after break with breaks that got breaks from breaks of other breaks, yep. and then and then you're complaining. And on top of that, the arrogance of saying, "You pay me for this, right? You pay me because I'm going to admit in this document that I didn't do what I was supposed to, but you're still responsible." And you know why Trump don't really care? Because it's fifty million dollars from poor people who are struggling, still yep. sending him damn money. People yep. out here living off, barely making it off a minimum wage. Three dollars per meal is what they got to live off of, and they sending fifty million dollars to pay Trump legal fees. To scam. And that's a hell of a point, dear brother. And they're literally paying for their own oppression because the man who they are contributing to will champion the very policies that have them barely making ends meet. We will bring updates as they come.